Peace to everybody.、Uh, this story is about Boys in the Hood star Jesse Lawrence Ferguson, dead at 77. And as you can see here in the picture, is Jesse Lawrence Fiction, Ferguson, I'm sorry, star of Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood actor Jesse Lawrence Ferguson has died at age 77. The star who played a crooked police officer in the 1991 blockbuster is understood to have passed away at home in California on Friday night. So he has passed away at home.、Um, I, you know, I never thought this man would pass away ever, but he was a good actor in the movie Boys in the Hood. His son told TMZ he discovered his dad in bed with the TV on but said he had been healthy in the days leading up to his death. So he's been healthy, everything was fine, nothing wrong with him. But then all of a sudden he passed away at home. It is not yet clear how he died, but police said there are no suspicious circumstances. Ferguson made his major acting debut in Starsky and Hutch in 1979. I never saw that movie, but he starred in that movie also.、Um, his son is saying, or told TMZ that he discovered his dad at home in bed, passed away. You know, it's just so sad what these、um, celebrities go through. But it was his performance in Boys in the Hood alongside Lawrence Fishburne, Cuba Gooding Jr., and Regina King as Officer Coffee that propelled him into stardom. Yeah, so he started with, co starred with all these people Lawrence Fishburne, Cuba Gooding Jr., Regina King. I can't even imagine how they're going to feel when they had heard about his death. His character famously holds a gun to the throat of Trey Stiles, played by Cuba Gooding Jr., telling him, You think you're tough? I could blow your head off right now. That's why I took this job. Ferguson also appeared in The Chosen One, The Presidio to Protect and Serve, and Prince of Darkness. Now, I don't know anything about The Presidio or Prince of Darkness. Or even to protect and serve. The chosen one, I'm not sure if I did see that one or not, so who knows. There's just so many movies that I may or may not have seen. News of his tragic death comes just days after Boys in the Hood. Director John Singleton was rushed to hospital after suffering from a stroke. He remains at a coma in intensive care in LA. And that is not true because I did a video about John Singleton's grandmother lying about、um, John Singleton being in a coma because his daughter came out and said it that she misrepresented、um, John Singleton. And I got that video on my channel if you want to see that one too. But、um, yeah, it was just comes days after.、Um, Ferguson had passed away, and it's just so sad. Leave your comments below. I am out.